Today I am in a special personal place that holds a dear spot in my heart. Today I am in Newton, Iowa, my hometown, where I was raised and will always call my hometown. But I'm not here to talk about me today. I'm here to talk about one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time, the one and only Rocky Marciano. Now, I know what you're thinking to yourself. Why am I coming to a small town like Newton, Iowa to talk about Rocky Marciano? Well, Newton is the place where he tragically met his end. And since I've been back, I have noticed they have a memorial down for him right over here. So let's go take a look. Apologize for the wind. It is very windy here in Newton today, but I'm gonna give you the best video I possibly can. In memory of Rocky Marciano, September 1st, 1923 to August 31st, 1969. Rocky Marciano, plaque. Rocky Marciano, an American icon. Rocco Francis Marciano, hope I spelled that right. If I'm wrong, I apologize was born on September 1st, 1923 in Brockton, Massachusetts, where his father worked long hours in the shoe factory. He had two brothers and three sisters and was a good all-around athlete in high school. He was drafted into the Army in 1943 and served for three years. After failing in baseball, in a baseball tryout with the Chicago Cubs, Rocco became a professional boxer in 1948 and changed his name to Rocky Marciano. He won the World Heavyweight Championship on September 23rd, 1952 with a stunning 13-round knockout of champion Jersey Joe Walcott. In a poll taken by ESPN in 2006, it was voted the greatest knockout in boxing history. Known for his unrelenting and aggressive style in the ring, Rocky defended his title six times. He retired on April 27th, 1956 as the only undefeated heavyweight champion ever with a record of 49 wins, zero losses, and 43 knockouts. He was 32 years old. After his ring career ended, he appeared in television and movies and as a commentator at a bo and major boxing events. In addition, Rocky gave freely of his time to causes that he cared about. He was always willing to support a church or charity, especially those that benefited children, wrote Mike Stanton in his 2018 biography of Rocky called The Unbeaten. <clears throat> now, sadly, on Sunday, August 31st, 1969, Rocky Marciano lost his life in a plane crash about four miles southeast of this location. The accident occurred at 8.05 p.m. when the plane ran into foul weather and the pilot tried to land at the Newton Airport. The small plane, a Cessna 172, struck a tree and Rocky, a friend, Frankie Farrell of Des Moines, and pilot Glenn Bells were all killed on impact. They were on their way from Chicago to Des Moines for a private party where Rocky was to be the special guest. The tragic accident was headline news all over the world. It occurred one day before Rocky's 46th birthday. He and his wife were living in a suburb of Fort Lauderdale, Florida at the time of his death and he is buried there. Rocky Marciano is considered one of the greatest sports figures in American history. He is a member of numerous halls of fame. His story has been told in books, magazines, newspapers, on television, and in film. According to some historians, he was a good representative of the 1950s decade. In, two, in the 2002 book, The Rock of His Times, author Russell Sullivan, a college professor, states that Marciano was an icon of his era on the same par with Dwight Eisenhower. The 1950s were, wrote Sullivan, a distinctive time in American culture, and his, Marciano's, image would mirror and embody that culture. In 1999, the United States Postal Service issued a stamp in his honor. There are statues dedicated to Rocky at Brockton High School and in Ripa, Tiatinia, Italy. If I apologize if I said that wrong. The hometown of his father. He was the inspiration for the Rocky movies of Sylvester Stallone. To learn more about Rocky Marciano, visit the Jasper County Museum just a block south of here. On exhibit are a sculpture, are, are a sculpture by a local artist. Nick Kleppinger and a display case with various items of interest. It's a very cool memorial. I, this is the first time seeing it since I've come back here many times, but I don't really come to this part of town, so that's a pretty cool memorial. They even have a sign over here. I'll show it to you really quick.
Rocky Marciano Memorial Rock. Now, I'm gonna take you to the location where Rocky Marciano and two others met their untimely demise in a plane crash on August 31st, 1969. So, see you there. Here I am at the cornfield, which is the location on August 31st, 1969 where Rocky Marciano and two others lost their lives. Now, this is private property back here, so I can't go back there and show you the location. I don't even know where the exact location is. All I know is that it was in this cornfield in 1969 when it happened. My grandma was actually 16 years old, and she heard about it the next day and said it was, um, it was huge news. Not only in the town, but the world. Like I said before in the video before, but yeah, I, I've always been a huge fan of the Rocky movies and I knew that um, Rocky Marciano was one of the biggest and truest inspirations uh, for Sylvester Stallone's Rocky. And I've always been a huge fan, not only the Rocky films, but Rocky Marciano himself, you know, one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. If you've never seen the movie uh, Coming to America with Eddie Murphy, and if you have, then surely you remember the scene in the barbershop where the barbers are discussing who the greatest boxer of all time is. And there's the scene where, you know, the older man played by Eddie Murphy in makeup, obviously, is talking about Joe Lewis being the greatest boxer of all time. And then the white guy that's played by Eddie Murphy again um, says, what about Rocky Marciano? And then, and then and the other guy goes, oh, there they go. There they go. Every time a white man got to talk about boxing, he got to pull Rocky Marciano out the ass. <laughs> and he goes, now Rocky Marciano was good, but compared to Joe Lewis, Rocky Marciano ain't shit. He beat Joe Lewis's ass. <laughs> that, scene, that scene always gets me because, yeah, he did. Rocky Marciano beat Joe Lewis. It, that scene always gets me. And then I remember back, whenever I watch that movie, I think back to my hometown here in Newton because this is where Rocky Marciano met his untimely demise in a plane crash. Right back here. But truly, truly a tragedy for sports, boxing, sports, and his, his legacy and his honor and his career will forever live on because he will always be ranked as one of the greatest heavyweight boxers of all time. But rest in peace to Mark Rocky Marciano and the two others. Co-Man's Travels 